imagination is more important than knowledge because knowledge is limited while imagination encircles the world. Thought-provoking words from Albert Einstein himself on the power of imagination and what stems from it. Science, technology, engineering, and math. STEM, the future and the drive to change our world for the better, truly stems from today. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Cara David at isa pong karangalan para sa akin ang makasama ko kayo ngayon para sa Gokong Way Brothers Foundation Young Scientist Awards 2020 confirm it. Alam niyo po, hindi biro ang pinagdaanan ng mundo ngayon. Um, maraming pagsubok ang pinagdaanan nating lahat ngayong taong 2020. At binago ng COVID-19 pandemic ang ating buhay, ang ating kabuhayan, edukasyon, negosyo, halos lahat, pati mga pangarap natin sa hinaharap. And what we need right now is a real win amidst all the terror of an apocalyptic global health crisis and tragic loss of lives to an invisible enemy called the coronavirus. Scientists all over the world from all countries are in a race against this virus to develop a vaccine that will keep humanity safe from COVID-19. Pero habang lumalaban tayo sa pandemyang ito, hindi may kakaila na araw-araw may iba pa tayong mga laban at hamon na hinaharap. Mental health, climate change, mga kalamidad at kahirapan. Pero sa gitna ng mga labang ito, naniniwala ako na may sumisilip pa rin na pag-asa. At makikita natin yan sa katauhan ng labing dalawa na GBF Young Scientist Awardees for 2020. Mga kaibigan, if you're at home and watching this ceremony online, let's see a shower of hearts and your favorite emojis as we cheer on our awardees. Tunay nga that what the world needs right now is hope for the future and our 12 GBF Young Scientist Awardees bring the promise of light in these extraordinary times. Sabi nga ng ating pambansang bayani, di ba, Dr. Jose Rizal, kabataan daw ang pag-asa ng bayan. Siguro, gasgas na para sa ating lahat yung mga katagang ito at madalas na nating naririnig. Pero alam nyo, nananatili po itong totoo, lalo na sa panahon ngayon na naghahanap tayo ng solusyon sa mga problema ng ating kinakaharap. Kaya naman, napakahalaga yung suporta na binibigay ng Gokong Way Brothers Foundation para sa ating kabataan. The GBF or Gokong Way Brothers Foundation is a passionate champion for students who are curious, concerned, and continuously striving to excel in STEM education in the Philippines. To know more about GBF, panoorin po natin. Pangarap kong maging isang successful na mechanical engineer. Pangarap ko pong makapagtapos ng pag-aaral upang matulungan ang aking pamilya. The Gokong Way Brothers Foundation was founded in 1992 from an initial endowment by uh, my father, John Gokong Way, and three of his brothers. Its objective is really to support the growth of educational opportunities for Filipinos. My father, due to various circumstances, including the Second World War and, and the earlier death of his father, he was not able to complete uh, his university. No? He's basically a high school graduate. But because of his innate curiosity and love for learning, he read a lot of uh, books, he read a lot of uh, magazines and articles. This helped him become a successful entrepreneur. He saw that the difference that education made in his life, and he wanted to share that uh, opportunity with as many Filipinos as he could. Our thrust for the foundation is STEM education, so science, technology, engineering, and math. We believe that the path to progress for any nation is through industrialization, and we feel that through STEM programs, this is probably the best path forward. My name is Rosan Carmona, and I'm the GBF Regis Habit Petrochemical STEM Scholar. I came from a simple family living in the mountains of Lubo. Growing up in a less privileged community has not only offered financial but also academic challenges. But that helped me realize the value of education. 
working here as JJ Summit Petrochemical Corporation has been a great experience. JJ Summit is providing different opportunities and resources that are all valuable for me to be equipped at the task I'm assigned to. We recognize that uplifting education in the Philippines is, is not the job of one institution alone. It's, it's a partnership and our, our objective is really to work with uh, very credible and capable partners such as De La Salle for engineering and the Ateneo for management. The Gokongui Grant has helped me not only for me to be able to reach those resources financially, but it has also helped my work to be recognized. We will continue with our focus on STEM education. Hopefully we're able to help a few thousand uh, Filipinos achieve education access that they may not have had. Gusto pong magpasalama sa GBF STEM Scholarship for Excellence kasi po nabigyan po ako ng gantong klaseng oportunidad. vision to empower the future through education. This is not just my legacy or the GBS legacy. This is our legacy. Naku, grabe. Alam niyo, alam niyo nung inaccept ko itong trabaho ng pagho-host dito. Inexpect ko na sobrang serious lang kasi science ganyan pero hindi ko akalain na tagus ko la sa puso grabe just watching that that video made me teary eyed kasi ibang klase talaga yung si Mr. John Bokongway is a real inspiration so talagang grabe hindi ko akalain ganito karami yung mga natutulungan nila ng mga mga batang scientists natin anyway to start off this exciting morning we have with us the general manager and trustee of Gokongway Brothers Foundation let's all welcome Miss Liza Gokongway Cheng Miss Liza thank you Kara for that uh, uh, very great introduction so um, I'd like to welcome um, ASEC Almatorio Director Joyce Andaya and our partners from the Department of Education, Dr. Reina Bel Reyes, our keynote speaker, our guests, students, and teachers joining us via Zoom and Facebook Live. And of course, the 2020 GBF Young Scientist Awardees, their families, their friends, and research advisors, good morning. On behalf of the Gokongway Brothers Foundation, I welcome you to this morning celebration where we honor our champions for change, the 2020 GBF Young Scientist Awardees. For the second straight year, we are proud to be conferring the GBF YSA to the best student researchers in the Department of Education's annual National Science and Technology Fair, or NSTF, and the eventual Philippine delegates to the prestigious International Science Engineering Fair. We thank everyone joining us today for showing support for our Young Scientist Awardees, who might be your classmates, friends, relatives, students, kababayans. I'm sure our guests and viewers from Gapan City, Caloocan City, Oriental Mindoro, Victoria City, Negros Occidental, and Iloilo are cheering on behind their screens. We thank our guests and partners who made time to, uh, for us <clears throat> because they share GBF's belief that recognizing young minds' contributions to science, innovation, and research is of utmost importance. Contributing to a body of knowledge requires no age. The future stems from every day that our learners stay curious and seek answers. We at the Gokongway Brothers Foundation are firm believers that strengthening our STEM education is the driving force toward attaining sustainable national development. This means Filipinos innovating and establishing new businesses and Filipino businesses creating jobs for Filipinos. This means making processes more efficient. This means creating lasting solutions to pressing problems in our country. By supporting this and other initiatives, we affirm our commitment to be active movers in advancing STEM education and promoting a strong science culture among Filipino learners. We are grateful to the Department of Education for allowing us to be partners in their NSTF, 
the largest science fair in the country that has been convening the best young minds and encouraging them to find solutions for their communities through science. Today, we honor our awardees, not only for their sheer brilliance, but for putting their communities front and center of their winning science research. We are honored that our, our awardees allowed us to share their stories today. We have Franklin and his device to help Oriental Mindoro, fisher folk, <clears throat> clean oil spills. We have Marianne and her study that can possibly impact water purification in sugar mills in Negros Occidental. We have Marvin's and Lorraine and their compact and affordable water monitoring kit prototype for rural areas and in Iloilo. We have Ray and Rafi and their study on Nipa palm sap, possibly preventing cancer. We have Jessel, Ara, and Yana and their study on an extract from a common garden weed and its potential to mitigate the effects of alcoholism. And we have Adon Nairam, Heather, and Pia, and their work on anti-theft, anti-drunk driving, and collision-sensing helmet for motorcycle riders. Likewise, we honor their parents, mentors, their research advisors who patiently guided them to become the young scientists that they are today. It is our hope that they inspire young viewers with us this morning to become champions of change through scientific solutions that ultimately improve the world. Again, welcome to the GBF Young Scientist Award 2020 virtual conference ceremony. Our warmest congratulations to our, our, our awardees and thank you everyone for joining us. We hope you will be inspired. Thank you. Maraming salamat po, Ms. Liza Gokong Wei Cheng, para sa inyong mensahe. Saludo po kami sa inyong pamilya, sa inyong walang sawang suporta sa edukasyon ng ating mga kabataan. At tama po yung sinabi ninyo para makamit natin yung solusyon sa ating mga problema. Hindi pwedeng iisa lang ang kikilos, hindi pwedeng gobyerno na lang. Dapat nandyan din yung private sector, yung mga kabataan, at syempre ang kanilang buong komunidad. Moving on with our ceremony, as they say, there is strength in numbers. And it is an honor and a privilege for GBF to be given the chance to be a partner in helping shape our young Pinoy scientists since 2019 by the Department of Education. So it's an honor for us to have with us someone whose zeal and passion for championing the Filipino youth is truly inspiring. Here she is with a message for all our awardees and everyone in the audience. Palakpakan po natin DepEd Assistant Secretary Alma Torrio. Thank you very much, Ms. Cara, for that uh, very generous introduction. Please allow me also to give my greetings to our most esteemed keynote speaker, Dr. Reynabel Reyes. Of course, Ma'am Liza Gokong Wei Cheng, my colleagues at the Department of Education, led by uh, Director Joyce Andaya, all our beloved stakeholders, I say on behalf of our beloved USEC Justado M. San Antonio, our Undersecretary for Curriculum and Instruction, I am very happy to join this very special occasion, the Gokong Way Brothers Foundation Scientist Conferment Ceremony. I am always inspired by the work of our young scientists and please allow me to give my warm congratulations to our young scientists. Unfortunately though, I am not able to meet our 12 scientists, young scientists face to face because of this uh, COVID-19 restrictions and for which we are doing this conferment ceremony online. And so my dear colleagues, our most esteemed stakeholders, our dear parents and uh, young scientists. Again, let me say it has long been regarded that science and progress go together. The celebrated 18th century philosopher and father of modern economics, Adam Smith, in, 
articulated the relationship between scientific research and economic growth in his famous book, The Wealth of Nations. The first industrial revolution, which started in England, was fueled by innovations through research. And this period of rapid economic growth in Europe was characterized by the transition of production of goods from hand methods to machines, chemical manufacturing, and iron production processes. But even before the first industrial revolution, science and progress is evident among the Greeks and Romans. The wise men of ancient Greece look at the world in different ways, coming up with theories on how the natural world works through laws that can still be observed. They were also fascinated with numbers that the mathematical treatises formulated more than 2,000 years ago holds truth until today. The Romans viewed science as something that can be practically applied to human life. They were the builders, city planners, and engineers. Their achievement left enduring marks, not only to Rome, but to the rest of the world. We have been doing science even before the coming of the Europeans. The Banawi Rice Terraces is a product of indigenous engineering. Our ancient bronze cannon, the Lantaka, is a cultural heritage of our traditional craftsmen. In many parts of the country, indigenous knowledge and practices have made agriculture sustainable. That gene of curiosity innovativeness and inventiveness had not been lost. In fact, it is very much present among our 12 awardees here today. They exhibited the keen eye for details, the resolute respect for evidence, the questioning attitude, critical mindedness, and suspended judgment. And so, I am happy to see the next waves of scientists that would follow Dr. Fedel Mundo, Dr. Gregorio Zara, Dr. Juan Salcedo, and other national scientists who made significant contributions to knowledge and made our country proud. These young researchers who will be the recipients of the very prestigious Gokongwe Brothers Foundation Young Scientists Award are sending us a strong message that it's never too early in life to make a difference and that through science we can tackle some of the biggest challenges in life. And so the Department of Education led by our most esteemed secretary Professor Leonor Magtolis Briones expresses its gratitude to the parents, teachers, and mentors who stood behind these learners and encouraged them to pursue their dreams. For that, I enjoin everyone to continuously encourage our learners to actively engage and pursue science and push the boundaries of what is possible. To our valuable partners, especially the Gokongwe Brothers Foundation, and again, I'm very happy to see Ma'am Liza. Thank you again for helping these awardees realize the importance of doing science. It may have started as a competition, but the knowledge and the experience brought by it would be cherished by these young researchers the rest of their lives. And of course, I would like also to thank my colleagues at the Bureau of Curriculum Development, led by Direct Joyce, Direct Sam, Chief Isabel, and all our specialists for their commitment 
to this meaningful initiative, which has allowed our students to pursue their passion in the field of research. And of course, again, to our 12 young researchers, your DepEd family could not be prouder of you. You reminded us that science is not something that is out of reach or just for the privileged few. Your endeavor have once again shown that science is for everyone and that persistence and discipline coupled with a strong desire for discovery is a perfect re recipe for doing research. Again, congratulations and may you continue to change the world one research at a time. Magandang umaga po at maraming salamat. Maraming maraming salamat po, Asektoryo. Tama po kayo, science and progress always go together. At ngayon, higit kailanman, kailangan ng mundo ang biyaya ng siyensya para makahanap tayo ng solusyon sa ating mga problema. And yes, tama kayo, science is for everyone. Wala yan sa estado ng ating buhay kung gano'n tayo kayaman, nasa tatagyan at saka pagpupursigin na nakikita naman natin sa ating 12 young scientists na pararangalan ngayon. Muli maraming salamat po sa DepEd. Maraming salamat po sa inyo, Asektoryo. Moving on, for the second year running, GBF has sponsored the Philippines' Ultimate Science and Innovation Fair, spearheaded by the Department of Education. This is the National Science and Technology Fair, or NSTF. Our honorees this year are the top winners in DepEd's NSTF and proudly carried the Philippine flag in the International Science and Engineering Fair, or ICEF, 2020. Here to tell us more about NSTF and ICEF is Director Jocelyn Andaya, Director 4 of the Department of Education Bureau of Curriculum Development and Fair Director, Department of Education National Science and Technology. Technology Fair. Director Andaya. Thank you, Ms. Cara. Good morning. Magandang umaga. Mayong buntag. Naimbag bila mayap kapak. Mayo na aga inyong lahat. I will be talking first about STEM education and then move on to the National Science and Technology Fair. Just give our audience participants, our stakeholders, an idea of what we're doing right now in terms of STEM education and um, uh, the initiatives that um, our department and of course some of our stakeholders that we have partnered with are doing in order to promote STEM education. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the precipice of a world where those that we have been used to are rapidly fading into obsolescence. We call the 21st century the VUCA world. VUCA characterized by volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. It is fast and there's information overload. Technology changes the world we live in at a lightning pace and the consequences are far reaching. Um, it also change how we communicate with each other, how we create and gather knowledge, how we travel, how we listen listen to music, do our shopping, and even how we start, build, or terminate a relationship. We can hardly imagine a world like it was just a decade ago. Slowly, surely, centuries-old concepts such as family and nationality shift to a new reality. It is then imperative to build essential life skills to prepare current, uh, our uh, students to the unknown future or what we call the VUCA world in part world is of course uh, what we're experiencing right now which is the pandemic okay so in the face of all these scenarios education must should change it behooves us to ensure that our students find meaning in what we're doing in school and to make it relevant to them and uh, to raise awareness as to what they can contribute to transform society to transform their country our secretary, Leonor Magtolis Briones, has outlined what needs to be done to help leapfrog education. And that is what we call in the slide, Sulung Edukalidad. It is the department's commitment to help our learners achieve their full potential for their kite of dreams to fly through quality basic education. How do these then affect the educational system, especially STEM education? STEM education plays a very important role in the attainment of 21st century skills. 
The K-12 STEM curriculum will provide learners with a repertoire of competencies important in the world of work and in a knowledge-based economy. It envisions the development of scientifically, technologically, and environmentally literate and productive members of society who are critical problem solvers, responsible stewards of nature, innovative and creative citizens, informed decision makers, and effective communicators. That is why, next slide, we have established 1,345 schools nationwide implementing STEM, broken down as follows. The region schools, schools of science and math subjects with additional subject and research. We also have highlighted uh, legislated science high schools, which are established through legislations. The local government and um, uh, the whole school offers enhanced science and math subjects plus research. Okay? We also have a science, technology, and engineering classes, where two or three classes per year level uh, introduce science, math, and research. Okay? And then in elementary school, special science elementary schools. These were stitched to be feeder schools to science high schools. These science schools offer enhanced science and math subjects from grades four to six. Now, where is STEM education headed? One of the depths for us is to, uh, of course, again, to provide science education programs with reference to research and math. The STEM education policy, next slide, will unify implementation of the special science program in both the elementary and junior high school. We need to provide science school learners more intensive advanced education programs. This will ensure that funds are available to support the development and training needs of both teachers and students, including the conduct of research projects, as well as procurement of needed educational materials and minor repairs of laboratory equipment. Uh, we envisioned a hub. I, I believe I have talked this out with Ms. Lisa in one of our conjunctions, where we intend up a regional uh, STEM hub which aims to bring together diverse science learners, science education faculty, science specialists, and industrial partners to launch an effective K-12 research pipeline, to establish research and mentoring programs, and to ensure students are well prepared to succeed in college and career pathways in their respective fields. The STEM Hub at development will represent a comprehensive science research facility that offers technical trainings and laboratory services and will be transformative in supporting regional science schools needs in the following ways. Provide uh, laboratory and workspace for our science research needs, workforce needs which, which will be addressed through expanding numbers of highly qualified graduates for the allied sciences and related uh, industries. It will also expand as a center for research and discovery in the allied sciences and attract external research funding and research and education partnership will provide a coordinated framework through preparation of the learners in an integrated teaching, research, and training activities. Okay. Uh, we also industry uh, school partnerships to encourage and support uh, partnerships between schools and industry, especially to help with uh, students' career skills and education. Next slide. The creative technologies will focus on skills leading to product design, development and model creation using 3D printer, digital multimedia presentations, programming and mathemat uh, robotic. Uh, our mathematical investigation will introduce mathematical research concepts and processes through exposure in various mathematical articles that facilitate learners to develop creativity and investigative skills. We also have, next slide, training on general intellectual property for all our deaf personnel, especially our research teachers, because we need to protect uh, the of our students, especially in the uh, contests and competitions that they um, they participate in, such as the National Science and Technology Fair. Uh, we also have initiatives to improve the way that STEM is uh, to be taught. They range from general training to ensure that teachers fully understand and feel confident with content and uh, to help them integrate STEM subjects and present them in new knowledge ways. 
Uh, next slide. Training on patent is also uh, being conducted in coordination with the intellectual property of the Philippines and the world's the World Intellectual Property Office. And uh, of course, you've known of this one. The National Science and Technology Fair encourages active involvement and interest by students in science, both as and beyond the box of the classroom. Um, in in closing out our STEM program, uh, we I'd like to quote our secretary when she said that the department continuously advocates the cultivation of curiosity, creativity, critical thinking, and innovation among our youth to enable and nurture the country's generation of globally competitive innovators. And at this juncture, I really would like to thank our uh, Gokongwe Brothers Foundation, Ms. Liza Gokongwe. Uh, thank you very much for partnering with us. Uh, you do not know how much this means to our learners, how much they look forward to this competition because of the support, strong support that you have done for, for, for them. Uh, of course, to Grace uh, Colette, thank you for, for uh, always uh, being passionate about what we do and um, finding out what else, how else uh, you can help us, the DepEd, ensure that our STEM advocacy will reach its fruition. I know that this isn't the only time that we'll be uh, collaborating. I know that uh, you are seeing beyond uh, granting scholarships. And uh, yes, we are excited uh, in the years ahead because we know, uh, as Alma said, uh, science is for everyone. It isn't just confined to the best and the brightest. It is also uh, should be able to reach the regular students for them to find out how they can uplift their lives by just knowing about and learning about STEM. At this juncture, I also will move on to the science, uh, briefly, the National Science and Technology Fair. I hope it being shown now in uh, the screen. Just to uh, brief everyone about what we do for National Science and Technology Fair, okay? So, uh, the National Science and Technology Fair aims to support, sorry, yeah, uh, it, it is annual science fair organized by the Department of Education through the Bureau of Curriculum Development. Uh, we have conducted this contest and competition among senior high school and junior high school students. The levels include from division to regional to national. There's an average of 3,000 science projects from public and private high schools evaluated by the Board of Judges nationwide. And these uh, projects are pared down to an average of 80 science projects competing in the national level annually. And therefore, you can see how competitive uh, this contest is. Uh, it aims to promote and develop science and technology awareness to the uh, public. The student researchers are given the opportunity to interact with students, teachers, fellow researchers, experts, and the like to show the relevance of their project and to share their enthusiasm in doing research. It also aims to foster a culture of innovation among the youth. And um, it provides an opportunity for collaboration. And that's why in the recent NSF was in 2019. We have had so many uh, collaboration with entrepreneurs, with scientists, with industries and the communities. And by the feedback we've received from last year's NSTF, we can see uh, so much enthusiasm we have generated support for NSTF. Um, we also identify the most creative and most innovative student researchers who shall be recipients of the Gawad Agli Techno and Gokongwe Brothers Foundation Young Scientist Award, which we are conferring today. And uh, just to give you some highlights, we have uh, what we call two class research project fair, which is a science and math research competition that provides opportunities for our junior and senior high students to present and showcase their research projects based on the issues and problems in their community. Therefore, it isn't just any project. It is a project 
based on the need of their community, responsive to the needs of their community. Uh, we also have the Innovation Expo, an innovation technology competition which aims to recognize most creative and market viable project addressing major issues in agriculture, energy, water, health, and environment. Then we also have a Science Academy. Uh, this is a conference designed to give our participants opportunities for learning and develop in various talks organized to promote innovation, creativity, All right. Parang uh, mukhang nagkaroon ata ng, ng, ng technical problems from um, Director Andaya. Pero nakita nyo naman ang dami nating natutunan. No? I didn't realize na ganun pala karami yung programa ng Department of Education para lalo pang ma-develop yung talento ng ating mga, mga kapataan. Are you All right. Our, Director Andaya is back. Oh. <laughs> are useful to, to the community. Then, we also have a uh, very important uh, uh, researchers that won audits from abroad. Like, for instance, um, three minor planets named after three Filipino learners who bagged mayor in the 2018 Intel International Science Engineering Fair in recognition of their achievement, okay. And then, of course, we have women in STEM. The girls from the house sent a strong message that anyone can pursue STEM. They earned a place in the galaxy in 2017. Uh, their names were given to three asteroids discovered by the MIT Lincoln Laboratories near Earth asteroid. And of course, there are others that um, other accolades that we have gathered through the years in support of um, STEM and because of uh, our joining the, the, the fair, the International Science Engineering Fair. And for the last two years, this also this, uh, contest were supported by the Gokong Way Brothers Foundation. I will no longer belabor the other, uh, uh, the other uh, awards that we've received, but that we note that our students who came back from any competition in the International Science and Engineering Fair, I know are um, uh, very much enthusiastic to pursue courses in STEM. And that's what we need. More students going into STEM-related projects or STEM-related careers because to help leapfrog our economy, to help leapfrog education, we need to have STEM-minded students. Thank you very much, Gokong Way Brothers Foundation. Ms. Liza, Gokong Way, again, thank you for your uh, all-out support. Good morning, everyone. Maraming maraming salamat po, Director Andaya ng Department of Education. Grabe na lula ako, grabe. Ang dami palang programs ng Department of Education to really harness and develop the talents of our youth pagdating sa science at itong competition through the NSTF. It will really train and harness their talents more. Sabi nga nila, di ba? Competition truly develops excellence. Maraming salamat po sa DepEd. Sabi nga nila, the best partnerships are those that come together with a shared vision for the future. And GBF and the DepEd have been partners for two years now and passionately believe in the scientific ingenuity of our Filipino youth. Here to tell us more about the GBF Young Scientist Awards is the Gokong Way Brothers Foundation Executive Director. Let's all welcome Miss Grace Colette. Miss Grace. Hi. Um, so the GBF Young Scientist Awards was born out of our desire to encourage our Filipino youth to aspire for and achieve excellence in the field of STEM and innovation. We partner with reputable organizations with well-established credibility in holding STEM competitions who are able to find these remarkable talents from all over the country. We believe that if we can inspire the youth to dream and work hard towards their dream of becoming a scientist for our country, we will be in effect 
contributing directly and powerfully towards a better future for the Filipinos. I must say, passion is definitely more infectious than COVID. And the passion for scientific research and innovation is what we need to spread more throughout our country. Our GPF Young Scientist Awardees are envisioned to champion sharing this passion and inspiration to others. To support our Young Scientist as uh, scientist aspiration uh, for the partnership with DepEd, GBF has committed to send our awardees who are winners of the National Science Technology Fair to the International Science and Engineering Fair held in the U.S. As mentioned, this is the biggest pre-collegiate science and technology fair in the world, joined by over 1,500 students from over 80 countries. This international experience is vital to help them elevate their skills to a globally competitive level and hopefully further boost their drive to improve themselves, not just as scientists, but as responsible citizens to best their best. Furthermore, we want to ensure that our young scientists will be fully supported to complete their college education through scholarship grants for their chosen STEM course. We will also make available mentoring, trainings, and other useful immersions that can help them enhance their STEM expertise, as well as instill the values of leadership and nationalism, without which excellence will not translate to nation building. Dear awardees, we look forward to nurturing our relationship and developing our partnership with you as fellow advocates of STEM quality education for nation building. Congratulations, 2020 GBF Young Scientist Awardees. We recognize all your hard work. We are proud of you, and this is your day. Maraming salamat, Miss Grace Colet. Nako, alam mo, matatandaan ko yung sinabi mo, ah. Passion is more infectious than COVID. Kaya naman dapat pa natin palaganapin yung pangarap ng mga batang ito. At napakaswerte ng ating mga estudyante kasi nakahanap sila ng kakampi sa Gokong Way Brothers Foundation. Kakampi at kasama sa pangarap nila para magkaroon ng mas matibay na komunidad, mas maunlad na bansa at mas matatag na buhay para sa ating lahat. Nako, ngayon, dumating na tayo sa ating pinakahihintay ang pagbibigay ng parangal sa ating mga awardees. Ay, excited na ako. Most times, the price of progress takes its toll in nature. Included among man-made natural disasters are oil spills in the ocean. Cleanup of these pollutants are expensive when using high-technology implements. Who would have thought that by using natural and repurposed materials such as dried patola, oh my gosh, patola, masarap yun sa sabaw, di ba? Pero may iba pa pala siyang gamit. Dried patola, coconut husk, Arduino modules, and PVC pipes, one could actually develop an oil spill cleanup device. Amazing! Franklin Razon of Bansud National High School in Oriental Mindoro developed a prototype controlled by a smartphone via Bluetooth that is designed to float and retrieve oil from water. Exciting! My gosh! Let's watch this video to learn more. For coastal communities in Oriental Mindoro, the seas offer abundant resources. But oil spills from passing vessels threaten the waters around the island and the livelihood of the fisher folks. I've witnessed two oil spills in my province, one in Calapan City and one in Panamalayan Oriental Mindoro. The fishermen could not go fishing kapag po may oil spill occurrence po sa kanilang locality. Ako po si Franklin Razon. Ang study ko po ay tungkol sa pag-create ng device na makatutulong as response sa oil spill. Franklin came from a family of farmers. He observed that the vegetable patola rots quickly. But like coconut husks, dried patola fibers are efficient in absorbing oil. Franklin integrated dried patola and coconut fibers into a device that can be used to efficiently clear up oil spills. Nakaset po siya to recover one liter po ng oil. Kaya niya po magmintin ng connectivity up to 50 meters po. This device is controlled by a smartphone via Bluetooth and powered by solar cells. It also can work for long hours on open water. Franklin had to be resourceful to complete other parts of the device. Despite the scarcity of the materials, I repurposed 
materials po and available sa community po po. Instead of using yung mga expensive materials po and the floaters, I just use repurposed PVC pipes para po mapalutang siya. Representing Mimaropas Regional Science High School, his project won one of the top awards during the Department of Education's 2020 National Science and Technology Fair. And was among the Philippine entries to the 2020 International Science and Engineering Fair. Diving deep into his community's problem and creating this device inspired Franklin to be a champion of reinventing agriculture and aquaculture. I am already stepping up starting from my from the municipalities po in Oriental Mindoro para po sila ay maging aware na may ganito pong existing technologies at magamit na po nila ito. We must not let sectors like agriculture and aquaculture be left behind. My gosh! I am amazed! Grabe! Galing ni Franklin! At this time, we would like to call on the General Manager and Trustee of Gokongwei Brothers Foundation, Ms. Liza Gokongwei Cheng, to confer the GBF Young Scientist Award on our first awardee, Franklin Razon. We confer the Gokongwei Brothers Foundation Young Scientist Award upon Franklin Razon of Bansud National High School, Regional Science High School for Mimaropa. Congratulations, Franklin. Yeah. Grabe, congratulations, Franklin. Alam mo, palagi akong nasa Bansu, dyan sa lugar ninyo, sa Oriental Mindoro. Kaya alam ko yung hard work na ginagawa ng mga tao dyan. Saludo kami sa'yo, Franklin. Well done. Thank well done. Well done. Alam mo, pakiramdam ko, iba na ngayon ang tingin ko sa patolo at coconut husk. <laughs> Lagi kitang maaalala ngayon. Galing, galing. Um, Thank you, po. Congratulations again, Franklin. Sa lahat ng mga nanonood sa kanikanilang tahanan, iparamdam po ninyo ang inyong tuwa at paghanga sa ating awardees. Paulanan na po natin ng emoticons yung ating screen at pwede rin po kayong mag-type ng inyong comments sa chat box o kaya mag-iwan po kayo ng mga comments or tanong. Sir. At least 7 million motorcycles ply the streets in the Philippines. In Metro Manila alone, motorcycles figured in over 31,000 road incidents in 2019. May isa po kaming teacher. He passed away po dahil po na-accidente siya. He was riding a motorcycle. Sa Kalaokan po kasi, dito bandang Novaliches, madaming mga motorcycles. This motivated us to create a study. Ako si Thea Lumabi. Ako si Adonai Ram D. Balagtas. At ako si Chloe Heather B. Aliano. Kami ang Team Abante. During their senior year at Kalookad National Science and Technology High School, they invented Abante, an engine control and a helmet programmed to have driver protection features. The engine control is installed in a motorcycle, while the helmet, equipped with sensors, serves as a remote. So the sense niya po, if the rider is wearing the helmet, hindi po mag-open yung mismong motorcycle if hindi talaga sakot yung mismong helmet. Other features include a fingerprint sensor, an alcohol sensor, and a collision sensor. When the sensors detect alcohol or an impact, the system will send an automated text message to the rider's emergency contact. Yung big problem po sa amin bago po kami nag-start is hindi po kami maalam dun sa mismong language, sa C++ and Arduino, everything. Ang tanging alam lang po namin is paano mag-YouTube, paano manood ng mga videos, kung paano namin magagawa yung project na yun. Their advisor and friends from their robotics club were of big help. When we bought the parts po, hindi po namin maiwasan na makasira. Sobrang bigat po sa estable sa namin. Also rin po sa mga ano, kasama po namin robotics that they lend us tools and materials na kailangan din po namin. Their project won one of the top awards in the Department of Education's 2020 National Science and Technology Fair and was one of the Philippines' entries to the 2020 International Science and Engineering Fair. They have applied for a patent as they envision their device to be used by motorcycle manufacturers and the government to promote road safety 
Beyond creating a unique and useful device, these young scientists realize the value of respect and cooperation. If we continue to boost ourselves, hindi lang isa yung magbe-benefit but all of the people. Sa society po kasi natin ngayon, ang goal po kasi natin is ano yung makukuha kong mag- individually, which is dapat ang goal po natin is ano yung makukuha ng mismong society natin. Alright, nako. Isa nako, meron na naman tayong nakao nakaka nakakabilib na mga ng mga estudyante mula naman sa Kaluokan. Just to recap yung ginawa nila, talagang kakaiba rin ito kasi related naman ito dun sa mga motorcycles, ganyan, di ba? So palakpakan po natin ang ating student researchers Chloe Heather Eliano, Adoniram Balagtas, and Thea Marie Lumabi of Kaluokan National Science and Technology High School. They invented Abante, which is an anti-theft engine control, alcohol sensing, and accident preventive helmet. Congratulations, guys. Galing, galing, galing. At this point, we'd like to call on the general manager of GBF, Ms. Liza, to confer the GBF Young Scientist Award on our second batch of awardees. We confer the Gokongwe Brothers Foundation Young Scientist Award upon Chloe Heather Eliano, Adonai Ram Balagtas, and Thea Marie Lumabi of Kalookan National Science and Technology High School. Congratulations. All right. Congratulations, Chloe, Heather, Adoniram, and Thea Marie of Kalookan National Science and Technology High School. Nako, siguradong makakatulong sa Kalookan at sa buong Pilipinas, lalo na sa mga urban areas, yung inyong invention na iyan. Great. Great job. Great job. For our next group of YSA awardees, alcohol abuse and its effects on family and society could be the very concern that inspired these three students from Juan R. Liwag Memorial High School. Using fruit flies as their subject, Arabel Santos, Giselle May Libiran, and Juliana Anupol studied the potential of the takip kohol plant. Nako, hindi ko alam itong halaman na ito. Ah. Takip kohol plant in possibly reducing alcohol dependency and mitigating the effects of alcoholism. Let's watch this video. Nearly half of Filipinos nearly half of Filipinos aged 15 to 19 are binge drinkers. Concerned about youth alcoholism, three young scientists from 1R Liwag Memorial High School study the plant Takip Kuhol's ability to reduce alcohol tolerance using the common fruit fly as subject. Ako si Arabel Santos. Ako si Jessel May Libiran. At ako si Juliana Anupol. We discovered the potential of hydroxyl verticillata in controlling alcoholism. Yung school po namin, it has a lot of damp places, so it grows abundantly. Turing lang po kasi sa kanya is like a weed lang. Their experiment showed that after fruit flies ingested the tip kuhol extract, they became more sensitive to alcohol. Their muscle strength and mobility dropped, but retained their memory and learning functions. With this plan, the effect of it will have lower tolerance, so there will be lower consumption. Kapag ang tao, kahit konti lang yung inumin niya, makakaroon siya ng imbalance sa movement. It pushes them to stop drinking. Someday, they hope their discovery will be used to manufacture supplementary drugs or maintenance medication. As first-time researchers, the team encountered one challenge after another. We wanted to use an ala asiatica, pero hindi ganon ka abundant yung plant dito. We found other plants in the same family. Or- We're in a province. There is a limited equipment, so we have to travel like 60 miles, which is Manila, during school days and go home at midnight, then attend school at the morning. But these only made their victory sweeter. Their project won one of the top awards during the Department of Education's 2020 National Science and Technology Fair and was among the Philippine entries to the 2020 International Science and Engineering Fair. It feels a bit unreal because we're not really exposed to research 
when we found out that our study got chosen, all our hard work, all our efforts, we should be doing this. To aspiring researchers, their advice is to prepare for hard work, but enjoy the journey while leaving an impact. The first things they should do is find something in their community they would want to improve or change and then that would be the first step that they should take and from then on it will come a bit more naturally than I'll put it. Joining us again, joining us again is the general manager of GBF, Ms. Liza Gokong Wei Cheng to confer the GBF Young Scientist Award on our third batch of awardees. We confer the Gokongwei Brothers Foundation Young Scientist Award upon three extraordinary students from Juan R. Liwag Memorial High School, Gapan City. Arabel Santos, Juliana Anupol, and Giselle May Bibiran. Congratulations. Congratulations sa inyo. Grabe, ano, ang, ang nakakatuwa sa ating batch of awardees ay yung ginagamit nila ng na mga, na mga, na, na, na mga ingredients or mga sangkap para sa kanilang mga, sa kanilang mga inventions ay yung galing sa kanilang community, yung galing sa kanilang probinsya. So, it's very inexpensive. Ang galing, 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 galing lang. Congratulations again, Arabelle. Juliana and Giselle of One R Liwag Memorial High School from Gapan City. Congrats sa inyo, Galeng. Now more than ever, the world relies on science for the advancement in healthcare, and we are excited to hear from your research in the future. Now on to our next two awardees. Cancer has always been a top health adversary for humanity. This killer disease has scientists doing extensive research on curative methods to treat those afflicted with cancer. Prevention of cancer development is the big idea of Ray Vincent Pelayo and Gerardo Rafael Taliador of Iloilo National High School. And the research on lactic acid bacteria derived from the abundant Nipa palm has generated excitement in the saying, prevention is better than cure. This is really interesting. Let's listen and watch this. With more than 60,000 cancer deaths recorded, cancer was the second leading cause of death in the Philippines in 2018. Many of Ray's loved ones died of degenerative diseases. This inspired him to study cancer prevention with his best friend Rafi, who comes from a family of doctors. Ako si Ray Pelayo. At ako si Rafael Tayador. We study the potential of lactic acid bacteria from the Nipah palm in preventing degenerative diseases caused by free radicals. Nipah palm is abundant in Iloilo's coastal areas and is often thrown away. We had the idea that, oh yes, we can obtain lactic acid bacteria from Tupa, which is from Nipah. Most cancer research focuses on cure. Ray and Rafi focus their research on studying how to stop the part where cancer develops. There were certain studies that have shown that lactic acid bacteria has antioxidative properties. We wanted to test its DNA protective property in particular. Antioxidants protect cells from free radicals, which is linked to diseases like cancer. Their experiment found that the lactic acid bacteria extracted from Nipah palm sap produces antioxidants that neutralizes free radicals. Simply incorporating these microorganisms into actual food, para gumawa ng functional food, can be incorporated into our daily lives as a preventative method. Their project won one of the top awards during the Department of Education's 2020 National Science and Technology Fair and was among the Philippine entries to the 2020 International Science and Engineering Fair. Through this study they did during their last year at Iloilo National High School, Ray and Rafi discovered their love for discovering new knowledge. I'm deeply passionate about my pursuit to knowing things, which is the main reason why I kept on going despite the length and the amount of hardships. I wasn't into research at first. It molded me to become a person uh, who is deeply passionate as a lifelong learner. I want to pursue research and get to the world or to the community.
Here is Ms. Liza Y. Gokong Wei Cheng again, General Manager of GBF, to confer the GBF Young Scientist Award on these two fine young gentlemen. Ms. Liza. We confer the Gokong Wei Brothers Foundation Young Scientist Award upon Ray Vincent Pelayo and Gerardo Rafael Taliador of Iloilo National High School. Congratulations. Congratulations, Ray Vincent and Gerardo Rafael of Iloilo National High School. Your story, hindi lang inspiring yung ginawa ninyo, pero inspiring yung buhay ninyo at pagpupursigin ninyo. Doon sa interview ninyo, sabi ninyo parang, Minsan gusto niyo na mag-give up pero nagtuloy-tuloy pa rin kayo. So, hanga kami sa inyong persistence para matuloy itong 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 ginawa ninyong innovation na ito. Congratulations again Ray Vincent and Gerardo Rafael of Iloilo National High School. Now, on to our next two awardees. They believe that water is life and is a natural resource that should be available for everyone. Totoo 'yan. Sadly, there are rural communities, marami pong mga komunidad, lalo na sa mga probinsya, na walang access sa potable water due to mineral pollutants. Student researchers Marvin's John Araneta and Lorraine Joy Bales of Iloilo National High School were concerned about water quality in some of their nearby communities and the high cost of water sample, sample testing. Marvin's and Lorraine developed a portable device that detects the presence of mercury and lead in water. Utilizing carbon quantum dots, their prototype won them the top award in DepEd NSTF 2020 Physical Science Team category. Panuarin po natin ito. This, despite modern solutions, access to clean water remains a problem in rural Philippines, even in water-surrounded areas like Iloilo. I come from a not really high-class community, so I see a lot of our neighbors sharing well that they had to call a delivery truck to have potable water in their home. We're not sure of how safe and how potable these water are. Ako si Marvin Araneta. At ako si Lorraine Joy Bales. Our research is entitled Endocarbon Quantum Dots Based Selective and Sensitive Floors and Probe Portable in Situ Water Monitoring Prototype Kit for Mercury and Lead. Speaking with concerned government agencies, they found that water monitoring costs a lot, starting at 1,000 pesos per metal per sample. So they built a portable water monitoring kit using carbon quantum dots with less than 1,000 pesos and an old smartphone. Carbon quantum dots has the capability to fluoresce, so it emits light. Yung light ay nagbid dim, depending on the amount of heavy metals present. The device can detect as low as one part per billion or half a teaspoon of lead or mercury in an Olympic-sized pool. Through color signals red, green, and blue, the prototype can also specify the kind of metal. Statement will cost a lot. You have to make sure first that my problem talaga yung area. So, ganun ka important as well yung detection. Their project, done in their senior year at Iloilo National High School, won one of the top awards during the Department of Education's 2020 National Science and Technology Fair and was among the Philippines' entries to the 2020 International Science and Engineering Fair. Compact and affordable, they hope this can be used in far-flung areas where labs are inaccessible. Just like a small box. And in terms of electricity, this device just use a power bank or even some sort of small batteries. As young researchers, they believe this marks the first step of being a champion of climate change and protecting the environment. Doing research in the pursuit of helping people is a noble cause. The individual who's likely to manage the, the future world is going to be us. So by starting from a young age, we need to be able to establish them. What is the ideal world we ought to live?
I'm here to confirm the confer the GBF Young Scientist Award on our two awardees. Let's call on call in Miss Liza Gohongwei Cheng, General Manager of GBF. We'd like to call on Miss Liza to confer the GBF Young Scientist Award on uh, Marvin's and Lorraine. Um, can you, I'm, uh, hold on, sorry. Uh, we confer, okay. We confer the Gokume Brothers Foundation Young Scientist Award upon Marvin's John Araneta and Lorraine Joy Bales of Iloilo National High School. Congratulations, congratulations. Congratulations, Marvin's John Araneta and Lorraine Joy Bales of Iloilo National High School. Alam mo, alam niyo Marvin's at Lorraine, malapit sa puso ko yung ginawa ninyo kasi ang dami ko ng documentaries na ginawa tungkol sa mga waterless communities in our country. If I'm not mistaken, more than 400 ang municipalities, hindi barangay ha, municipalities in the Philippines ang talagang walang access sa potable water. So, ang laking ambag ng ginawa ninyong ito. Congratulations again. Sa inyo, Marvin's John Araneta and Lorraine Joy Bales of Iloilo National High School. Galing! And now for our final YSA awardee this morning, Marian Ledesma of Negros Occidental National Science High School found two things close to her heart while doing her research in Iloilo. A stronger bond with her father, who was her research study chap chaperone, and the passionate drive to look for better water purification solutions. Here's what she has to say. Watch this. Marian used to enjoy seeing the seashell Balisala in rivers during road trips with her father. Balisala is a local delicacy in Negros Occidental, but it has disappeared over time. This moved Marian to study how to preserve life in bodies of water like rivers, which are often threatened by pollution. Ako si Marian Ladesma. So yung research ko po, tungkol siya sa EDTA MGO. This EDTA MGO is used as an adsorbent for methylene blue in water. Yung sugarcane fields, sometimes the runoff from fertilizers, these are organic pollutants and they usually end up in the rivers. EDTA MGO is a nanoadsorbent that comes from graphite. Previous study used it to remove mercury and lead from water. Marian studied its potential use on organic pollutants by testing it with methylene blue, a compound often discharged from factories to bodies of water. The adsorbent, at a certain amount, was able to remove almost all of the methylene blue. If it can remove that, it should be able to remove other types of organic pollutants. At the MGO's magnetic property, makes it easy to retrieve it from water. This can limit possible water damage from unretrieved adsorbents. Marian did the study in her final year at Negros Occidental National Science High School, where she spent six years of school away from home and living in a dorm. This research let her spend time with her father. I'm in Bacolod and then I had to conduct my research in Iloilo. It's dad that was the chaperone through the whole journey. I think our bond, our relationship has grown. This was definitely a bonding experience with my father. Her project won one of the top awards during the Department of Education's 2020 National Science and Technology Fair and was among the Philippine entries to the 2020 International Science and Engineering Fair. She hopes to inspire other researchers to build on her discovery. For the bigger picture in Negros Occidental, I would really love for EDTA MGO to be used as part of the water purification system of the many sugar mills found in my province. Here is Ms. Liza Gokoweche, General Manager of GBF, who will now confirm the GBF YSA on our awardee, Ms. Marian Ledesma. We confer the Gokongwe Brothers Foundation Yan Scientist Award upon Marian Ledesma of Negros Occidental National Science High School. Congratulations, Marian. 
congratulations again to Marian Ledesma of Negros Occidental National Science High School. Congratulations din kay Tatay. Grabe. <laughs> Grabe ah, ibang klase rin yung father mo. At saka actually while watching your video kanina, medyo naiyak ako ng konti kasi ito yung talagang kumamahal ng magulang sa anak. Yung talagang kasama siya from start to finish para lang makamit mo yung iyong mga pangarap. The love and support of your family is as sweet as your determination to ensure the future of our waterways and for marine life to thrive. Congratulations again, Marian. Congratulations to all the GBF Young Scientist Awardees for 2020. Ang galing, 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 galing ninyo. And there's something to acknowledge and honor all of you. Please watch this video. Pinabati ng pamalakaya ang ating makabayang kabatang ito na si Franklin Rason. Uh, umaasa kami na ito ay magiging matagumpay at magsilbi sa kapanganan ng mga mga isda sa buong bansa. Ituloy-tuloy ang science and technology for the people. Uh, mabuhay ka Franklin sa dikain mo magsilbi sa bayan. Pagbati sa pangkatabante kina Chloe, Adoniram at Thea ng Kaloka National Science and Technology High School sa inyong matagumpay na likha. Ang abante ay isang mahalagang ambag na nagdadagdag ng sapin ng kaligtasan sa ating mga rider na umaharap sa mga panganib sa ating mga lansangan sa araw-araw. Bilang mga batang siyentista, naway patuloy kayong lumikha at tumuklas para sa ating mga kapwa, para sa ating lipunan. Congratulations, Lorraine and Marvins, from me, Mary Rosales. As a social anthropologist, I can confirm that your portable water monitoring device applies not only to the rural poor, but also to urban informal communities. So now, encourage the mass production of your remarkable invention to make it available to millions of needy families. Thank you for your creativity and passion to help disadvantaged people. Congratulations po, Kuya Ri at Kuya Rafi, for your amazing achievement. Your work on antioxidants that neutralize free radicals will help many Filipino lives. What you did was very inspirational because you are still at a young age and you were able to do something big because of your passion to do research. All the best to your future projects and I am sure you will do great things. Mabuhay po kayo. Mainit ako na nga kaming bulahan sa kadalagaan sa atong mga ilonggo young scientists. Nakaday do rin Marvins, Ray, and Rafael sa Iloilo National High School. Sa lamharo ng edad, nangimbukal ka mo sa mga ilonggo. Kabayan na hindi yung achievement, makahatang sa inyo sa dugang na encouragement. Ang kadalagaan nyo, kadalagaan sa tanah, na binagid sa mga fellow ilonggos. Truly, you are a blessings to us all. Congratulations. Let's give God the glory on you. Hi, I'm Jessie DeGrano from WeTech Manila, and I want to congratulate you, Arabelle, Juliana, and Jessel on your research. We're so happy to see young Filipino scientists, especially women, who are making a change for the Filipino people. I hope you know that there are teams such as WeTech and the Gokong Way Brothers Foundation that will always be supporting you. I wish you luck on your STEM journeys, and again, congratulations to all of you. Hey there, Marian. I am Sia, the National Coordinator of YATAP, and I'd like to congratulate you for a job well done on your research. And we'd also like to thank you for pushing forward science that truly serves the people. I hope you continue this path of service through your technology, and I wish you all the best in your studies and in all your future endeavors. Grave. Grabe! Congratulations sa lahat ng ating GBF Young Scientist Awardees for 2020. Napakahusay at napaka-inspiring ng inyong mga nakamit. Tingnan nyo naman, ano, talagang imagine you're, you're, you're so young, uh, high school lang yung marami sa inyo, pero tingnan mo naman, tingnan nyo naman, talagang hinahangaan kayo ng, ng mga institusyon sa lipunan. Maraming salamat sa inyo at congratulations ulit. Mga kaibigan, kung meron po kayong mga katanungan para sa ating mga awardees, sa kanilang mentors, at sa mga guests of honor po natin, meron po tayong Q&A session mamaya bago po matapos yung programa. At sana makasama po namin kayo hanggang sa huli. At this point, we'd like to share that we have a surprise and a fitting tribute to six incredible people 
who were a huge part of the life-changing journey of our YSA awardees today. Surprise to! Panoorin po ninyo. Sir Rex has been our teacher since we were in grade 7. He would always tell us na ano silbe ng high grades kung wala ka namang natutuhan. Our group never expected winning pero laging andyan si Sir Rex na pabirong bubulong na we will bring home the bacon. He would check up on us before, during, and after our competitions. He would comment each and every one of us and ask kung kumain na kami kasi may pabaw ng school. We are so grateful to Sir Rex for being a patient, hardworking, and inspiring mentor for our team. There are times where we would practice our presentations in preparation for the science fair and Sir Jerome and Ma'am Lorraine would act as like a panel of judges. Their presence together is quite intimidating but it was a very fond memory and we definitely learned a lot from them. What we learned from Sir Jerome is that the experience and the journey is more important than the destination itself. So Ma'am Lorraine, thank you for supporting us and being there for us throughout our journey. We hope that you continue to inspire and motivate students to take up research. We are very grateful to Sir Jerome and Ma'am Lorraine for imparting us not only with the knowledge of research, but also valuable skills in life that enable us to go with this journey and come out of it as a better researcher and also as a better person. I gratefully recognize Mom Ramos for battling with me in this research project and for unlocking numerous doors of opportunities. I hope Mom Ramos will be given more strength to mentor more students who are also potential changers and leaders in the field of STEM. Um, I am thankful for Miss L because during the times when I couldn't even believe in myself, she was there to believe enough for you to help us. She was just a source of calmness. She radiates calmness and positivity. She taught me that my medals, my accomplishments, they're worth nothing if I don't have the attitude nor the character to back it up. Sir Khan taught us that there is no such thing as an easy win that you would know if a victory was a hard-fought victory, if you cried the moment when you achieved it. It's all because of Sarah Ponte that we completed this journey. We've been through a lot and he's been there from the very beginning, every step of the way. Just simply said, hindi na kamo mag-worry kung madaog man kamo or mapilbe man kamo. Ang pinaka-importante gidya is may na-learn kamo kagin ubra nyo ang inyong adas. It was a relatively simple statement, but it all reminded us of the ways that he took care of us. Sir Ponte, it is such a great privilege to have one of the best advisors in the world, and we are more than grateful and blessed to be mentored by you. Thank, Thank you, Sir Rex. EM Squared. Salamat po, Sir Jerome. Thank you, Ma'am Ramos. Madam Ogid, nga salamat, Miss Glaza Leonoras. Thank you, Sir Aponte. Dear teachers, palakpakan po natin muli ang mga mentors ng ating young scientists. Ako, nako, sabi nga nila sa likod ng tagumpay ng bawat estudyante ay isang mapagmalasakit at talagang hardworking na guro. So, ito pong tagumpay ng inyong mga estudyante. Talagang kasama po kayo dyan. Maraming salamat po sa inyo and congratulations. These six research advisors really gave all the support, guidance, and precious time sa ating young scientists during the course of their research and study. Introduce ko lang po sila. Ms. Melanie Ramos ng Bansud National High School Regional Science High School para sa Mimaropa, ang advisor po ni Franklin Razon. Okay. Mr. Rex Wendell Kapili, Kaluoka National High Kaluoka National Science and Technology High School, ang advisor naman ni Chloe Heather Eliano Adoniram Balagtas at Thea Marie Lumabi. At si Jerome S. Mejia and Mary Lorraine Lorido ng One R. Liwag Memorial High School. Advisors naman ni na Arabel Santos, Juliana Anipol, and Giselle Libiran. Hello po sa inyo mga ma'am at sir and congratulations po. 
we would also like to recognize Dr. Ronilo Aponte ng Iloilo National High School, advisor naman ni Marvins Araneta, Lorraine Bales, Ray Vincent Pelayo, and Gerardo Rafael Taliador. At si Ma'am Glazel Leonoras ng Negros Occidental National Science High School, ang advisor ni Marian Ledesma. Sabi nila yung pagiging guru daw, isa ito sa pinakamarangal na profesyon sa mundo. Ako mismo ay isang guro sa kolehiyo at bilang isang guro katulad po ninyo, alam ko yung hirap ng trabaho natin pero at the same time, nandun yung fulfillment kapag nakikita natin nagtatagumpay at natututo yung ating mga estudyante. Totoo yun, it's not about the grades, it's not about the achievements, it's about learning. Kumbaga nga sa magsasaka, tayong mga guro ang nagtatanim ng kaalaman at inspirasyon sa ating kabataan. para ang kanilang kinabukasan ay lalo pang tumubo at lumago. Kaya naman, samahan niyo po kami sa pagbibigay pugay at pasasalamat sa ating mga guro. Let's give our thanks with a round of virtual applause for all our teachers here with us today. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat, mga mahal namin guro. May kasabihan, it takes a village to raise a child. And in our case, marami tayong kasama when it comes to championing STEM education in our children. GBF strongly believes in passion, passionately supporting the critical role of teachers in the lives of their students, which is why they established the Kasama Teachers Community in partnership with the University of the Philippines National Institute for Science and Mathematics Education Development, or UP NISMED, a, a community where teachers empower other teachers. This is Kasama. <music> Thank you very much to Kasama Teachers Community. Please do check out their website on www.kasamateachers.ph and the Facebook page at Kasama Teachers Community. You can also download free K-12 science and math resources and uh, share best practices at the Kasama Teachers Community. Moving on with our program, the pursuit of science is an adventure, and our Young Scientist Awardees are expanding their minds as fast as the universe is expanding. But there is truly nothing like hearing how it actually feels to be GBF YSA awardee than from two actual awardees themselves at this momentous time of their lives. So let's call in Lorraine Joy Bales of Iloilo National High School and Marian Ledesma of Negros Occidental National High School two awardees who would like to talk on behalf of their YSA batch for 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant morning to all of you. It is my immense pride and honor to deliver this speech on behalf of all my fellow awardees today. First and foremost, we would like to extend our sincere gratitude to the Gokongwe Brothers Foundation for giving us the opportunity to be named as GVF Young Scientist Awardees and for providing us with a bigger platform to share our stories to the nation in the hopes that we can inspire at least one young student to pursue science just like all of us. The Young Scientist Award was a dream and we are more than grateful and blessed to be able to turn that dream into reality. Of course, this would not be possible without all the people behind Gokongwe Brothers Foundation and the National Science and Technology Fair, our advisors, consultants and mentors, our teachers, families and friends who have been there since the beginning of our journey. Our utmost gratitude to all of you for helping us reach this far. What's so special about research, you might ask? Perhaps some of us dread even the mere thought of science and research because they remind us of a lot of laboratory work and the intimidating auras of our respective panel of judges 
ready to roast us while having our final thesis defense. Yes, we all can relate to that. But I think what we must realize is that we do research not only to pass a major requirement or for us to graduate. We do research in hopes of helping our fellow men and our community by providing tangible solutions to existing problems. We live in a challenging world, but there's one thing that we've all learned during this time. It's the importance of science. Maya Jmira, the CEO of Society for Science in the Public, challenged young students to use science, technology, and research to make a difference and make this world a better place to live in. In times when we are faced with a global pandemic, massive energy depletion, internet connection concerns, and the glaring global warming, the world needs STEM-inclined individuals now more than ever. Some may find taking up a STEM course as intimidating, but believe me when I say it's not. Rather, we should take it more as a challenge on how we can make a significant contribution to this world through science and research. So to all aspiring students, this is your sign. Never let your fear overcome your passion to discover and innovate in science. The world is counting on you. You have it in you to make an impact. You have the power to give this world a better future. If there's anything we've learned from working on our respective projects, it's that research is not easy. Research is hard, and it is so for good reason. It's important to get research right because one of its aims is to improve the quality of life, especially for the people who deserve better. So in one way or another, human lives will be tied to your work. This is one of the reasons why we defend our research in front of a panel. Aside from that, for us, research was hard because we had to quickly learn in a few months what college students learn in a few years. We had to make sacrifices and difficult decisions and often stare at the face of rejection one too many times. We've had labs that didn't have the tests we needed. We've conducted experiments that took hours only for them to fail. And we've had sensors and modules breaking on us left and right. Then after all that, we still had to go to school and make sure our grades were enough for us to complete or to graduate. But you see, you get so many opportunities when you do research. As a high schooler, you get to learn complex lessons in advance. The rejections and failures make you stronger. The hard decisions and sacrifices make you wiser. And along the way, I'm speaking from personal experience here, you are going to meet the most wonderful people. Most importantly, you also get to help the people in need, which is a far greater prize than anything you will ever win in competitions. So to our future researchers watching, it'll take a bit of patience, take a little time, a little perseverance, and a little uphill climb. But if you keep moving forward, either by crawling, walking, or running, soon, one day, you will fly. So don't be afraid to attempt the impossible. And if you don't like the crowded broad avenue, stick to your single log bridge until it gets dark. Go explore your ideas and collaborate with other researchers. And don't forget to do this for the people. Never give up. We hope that we have inspired you to do something to help your community. Always remember that for change to happen, it must start in each one of us. We hope to see your name on an abstract or a paper soon, but until then, keep persisting and working hard. We wish you all the best. On behalf of the GSA, the GBF YSA um, awardees, thank you very much, and God bless us all. Thank you very much, Lorraine Bales and Marian Ledesma for that inspiring speech. Naku, hindi ko alam. Ang galing pala kumanta ni Marian, ha? <laughs> Pero tama yung sinabi ninyo. 
ang pinakamalaking achievement, pinakamalaking tagumpay ay wala sa award, pero nasa pagkakataong matulungan mo yung iyong komunidad at makapagbigay ka ng pagbabago. Masarap manalo ng award, pero mas masarap na makatulong sa iyong kapwa-tao, sa iyong komunidad. Thank you very much, Lorraine and Marian, and to the rest of our 10 YSA awardees. May your adventures in science continue to inspire other students, young and old, to keep pushing the limits of what is possible to make this world a better place. For all the students present here today who are passionate about being young scientists in the future, being part of the International Science and Engineering Fair or ISF is the big dream in your near future. It is here where thousands of finalists representing top high school STEM students from all over the world present their research and compete for top awards. The ISEF is a starting point for some of the best scientists in the world, and ISEF alumni are in, the distinguished, uh, are in a distinguished class of their own. YSA 2020 awardees, this is now your community too. And your fellow ISEF alumni welcome you. To know, to know more about, about this, let's watch this video. We think, investigate, create, innovate, and we collaborate. As curious minds working together to strengthen pre-college research in the Philippines, we aspire to bring the spirit of scientific enthusiasm, share our passion, our interests, our advocacies. Through our journey with the world's largest and most prestigious pre-college science competition, International Science and Engineering Fair, where over thousands of young researchers across the planet share their diverse, outstanding, and significant projects. Where the value of ISAF and passion for research continues after high school, we are the Network of ISAF Alumni Philippines. Through intensive seminars, workshops, and mentorships from schools to provinces to regions across the country, NIAP has served thousands of students and teachers with knowledge, with skills, and with the heart for pre-college research. NIAP has been at the forefront of helping create a new generation of dreamers, of visionaries, of leaders for science and beyond. This 2020, we, the Network of ISEF Alumni Philippines, is full force with something new and exciting. As we transverse the unknown of these ever-changing and uncertain times, NIAP remains bold and unshaken, continuing molding young Filipino scientists, inspiring the youth towards excellence, and promoting science for the public. Engaging and capitalizing the virtual environment and emerging digital technologies to online pubs, webinars, and activities, NIAP continues to evolve and bring our mission and vision in the comfort of our homes. Together as a community, as fellow science-driven individuals, we will continue to aspire, thrive, and transcend limitations, leaving no one behind. NIAP invites you to be part of us, be one with our goals, be our partner, as we move one step closer in making science and the passion for research more accessible for all. Oh, wow! Goosebumps! Goosebumps! Grabe! Tumayo yung balahibo ko! Um, Sobrang bata, so young yet so talented. At sa panahon ngayon kung kailan ang daming problema ng mundo, talagang it's uplifting at nakakapagbigay ng inspirasyon yung pagpuprosige at pang, patuloy na pagpangangarap ng mga batang ito. Ibang klase. Wow, congratulations. Galing, galing. Truly, when one says that you are an ISF alumni, you know that this person, yung sa ating susunod na speaker, is an intellectual mm. scientific powerhouse to be reckoned with. Now, speaking of achievements, our next speaker is no stranger to ISF. She's an ISF alumna herself and has passed through those very challenging portals before. And 
is here with us today to share her thoughts. She is an associate professor at the National Institute of Physics in UP Diliman. She also heads the NIP Data and Computation Research Group, which focuses on data-driven astronomy and computational physics topics. Wow, no split. <laughs> she is also the practice director for data science and analytics of Z-Lift Solutions and the chief technical advisor of the UNDP Pintig Lab. As a science communicator, she is the founder and co-moderator of Pinoy Scientist Platform and host, uh, host of Science Says on Knowledge Channel. She is also the co-host of Radio Turo Guro Science on DZRJ AM. She also has her own YouTube channel. Please join me in welcoming the Filipino astrophysicist who proved Einstein's theory of relativity on a cosmic scale at the age of 26 years old. Grabe. Palagpakan po natin, Dr. Rainabel Reyes, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, Cara, and um, good morning sa lahat. Um, it's really my real honor and pleasure to be here uh, and to personally congratulate all of our 12 awardees um, and of course, their advisors, their teachers, their schools, their school. Uh, it's really a community um, award, no? We're celebrating so much today um, and everyone who helped them along the way. Um, uh, and as we see, the you know, in these touching videos, uh, it's a real um, <clears throat> it's a real inspiring uh, journey uh, for not only for our awardees, but for everyone they touched around them in their pursuit uh, for uh, research and science. I'm really um, so touched and so impressed um, um, and um, actually, nagulat ako dun sa mga surprise videos ng Gokong Way Brothers Foundation. Uh, it really says so much about um, the meaning of of the work. Um, and um, and I think uh, it, it will be a memory that will that our awardees will take uh, will take with them uh, in to the rest of their lives. Um, for me, actually. Um, this and we also just had a NIAP um, alumni forum last Sunday with some of the awardees here. Lorraine hosted it uh, and it brought back so many memories from our ISF days um, and um, we can all relate um, all the uh, staying up late at night, uh, the experiments that don't work uh, but eventually work, the results that you eventually get the whole journey of um, that's really what science is. Um, and so um, it's really um, formative for us uh, young scientists um, and provides a good foundation for our uh, journeys, uh, science careers forward or wherever we might uh, take them. Uh, so um, yung pabaan ko lang sa mga awardees ngayon and sa mga young scientists uh, in the audience you know, take that, take that uh, wherever you go. Keep that curiosity, that drive, the discipline that you learned, the people you met along the way. Um, um, keep in touch, keep connected. Join the NIAP uh, alumni group um, and find more like-minded people. You know, there's so many of us. Um, we're just here uh, and find your more mentors to guide you on your next journey. Um, it's... um. Uh, long way to go, actually. Uh, I've done so much, but a long way to go. Looking back, uh, there's so much more you can do, and I'm so excited. Looking forward to see uh, what you what uh, what you'll make of your um, um, talents and um, opportunities uh, with the support of all of us here in the community. Um, so congratulations again, uh, and best of luck, uh, and keep in touch. And uh, um, saludo, saludo sa inyong lahat. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Reina Reyes. Salamat po sa inyo. Um, tama yung sinabi ni Dr. Reina. 
Huwag ninyong sulohin yung inyong curiosity at huwag ninyong sulohin yung inyong mga talento. Look for other people, makipagsuporta kayo sa iba pang mga like-minded individuals para mas mas maganda yung yung magagawa. And never ever forget your obligation to your society, to, to your community. Na alam ko naman na na-implant na sa inyo ngayon, ngayon pa lamang, kitang-kita na namin yan. So dapat tuloy-tuloy lamang itong mission ninyo ng pagpapalaganap ng siyensya. Maraming salamat po, Dr. Ray, na You are truly an inspiration among our young scientists. All our aspiring scientists here today truly appreciate your words of inspiration and your dedication to science. It's like a gravitational force wherein all our young <laughs> students get drawn to and very much inspired from. Salamat po, Dr. Reyna. And now, moving on to our ceremony, GBF has always been about championing and challenging the brightest young Filipino students in the country to go full throttle towards achieving their dreams of excellence in scientific research and innovation. As our momentous event comes to a close, let us hear once more from Ms. Grace Colette to deliver her closing remarks. Last year, We celebrated our GBF Young Scientists Awardees with less than 100 people joining us in an intimate gathering. Today, we had a thousand Zoom registered guests and thousands and thousands of viewers on Facebook pages of DepEd, Kasama Teacher Community, and GBF, celebrating with us the win of our GBF Young Scientists, a win for our country. Indeed, I say this pandemic does bring with it its own blessings if we allow it, challenging old ways of thinking and, ins and inspiring not just new but better ways of working and celebrating, like what we just partook, partook of today. In the beginning, when we learned about the National Science and Technology Fair and saw the works of our young scientists, we said, more of our youth need to hear these stories. More leaders in the industry and government need to be encouraged to, this, to support these programs. We asked, how can we make this more mainstream, similar to the popular, popularity of our Palarong Pambansa, given that this is so important for the development of our country? Today, I thank God and I thank all of you, our dear guests, awardees, speakers, for creating this milestone. I believe that we have made stride today in our vision of inspiring more youth to strive for excellence in STEM and innovation and serve our communities. May this inspiration lead all of us to hope, lead all of us to action, lead all of us to a better future. Maraming salamat po. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. Thank you very much, Ms. Grace Colette, for those um, provoking thoughts. Um, tama po kayo. Ang silver lining ng pandemic na ito is it challenges all of us to think differently, to act more passionately, and to dream more fervently. Talagang nacha-challenge tayo all the more. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. It is really evident that everyone here is amazed, inspired, and supportive of the mission and ideals of the Gokong Way Brothers Foundation. We look forward to the many achievements of these young scientists that they, this will bring forth to the world because of GBF's dedication and support for their dreams. Thank you very much, Ms. Grace Colette. Salamat po sa inyo. Ngayon, hindi pa po tapos yung ating programa kasi kung meron po kayong mga questions, I'm sure you want to hear from our young awardees kung ano yung kanilang mga thoughts. Ay, baka meron kayong tanong kay Dr. Reyna Reyes sa DepEd o kaya sa GBF. Pwede po kayong mag-type ng inyong mga tanong at comments sa chat box natin. And we are now um, opening the floor for your questions. Pero kanina, meron na kaming nakalap na ilang mga, mga questions. Um, we have questions here for our awardees. Okay, awardees. Um, meron ditong tanong... Um, Paano kayo naging interesado sa science? Sino bang gustong sumagot niyan? Sa ating mga awardees. Uh, siguro si ano, um, Juliana? Paano ka naging interested sa science? Um, hello po. Um, I became interested in science because yung science po... Um, parang diyan nagro-root lahat ng every in everyday 
lives, dyan nagroot lahat, our carpets, our tables, galing yan sa science. And the thing na you can make something out of science, parang ang galing lang. And we thought na we could also do our best with with science. Correct. Ayun po. Correct. Ikaw, ikaw Franklin, taga Mindoro ka, di ba? Tapos, exposed ka sa mga mangingisda at sa mga magsasaka. Kasi ako, I always go to Bansud, Mindoro Oriental. Talagang agriculture talaga ang driving talaga. force ng, ng lugar na yan. Bakit ka naging interesado sa siyensya? Um, so, um, simula po nung elementary ako, interested na po ako sa science. Because I realized na yung science po kasi siya is, is in, it's infinite. The learning does not stop. You could discover more and more and more things through science po. That's why I chose to chose to enter Uh, when I was in high school, po, a science high school, po, which was Mimar Operational Science High School. Mm-hmm. And through my school, um, my passion for science was molded more and I was driven more to pursue not only on learning science concepts, but to apply those concepts to help my community, po, which in my case, in my project, was the, were the fishermen. Po. Oh, amazing, amazing. Now, meron tayo ngayong question mula sa Facebook, sa ating Facebook uh, live uh, streaming. Um, how is your active participation in STEM activities shaping or changing your lives? Sino bang gustong sumagot nito? Um, Arabel, ikaw, paano na bago yung buhay mo nitong, um, nitong STEM activities na inyong sinasalihan? So, um, doing these STEM activities, I've learned to be more systematic, a systematic approach to life, and mm-hmm. it helped me um, gain more um, courage and drive and passion for what I do and learn to never give up because um, science and research, it never really ends. Nice, nice. Oh, ito, meron tayong tanong from Neil David um, Kayanan para ito kay Marian. Gusto ka niya atang kumanta. Joke lang. <laughs> <laughs> Marian, if you could go back in time, what would you say to yourself when you were just starting off with your research? It's gonna get better. You're going you're going to you're going to feel like uh, there's no end in sight, but there is. Mm-hmm. And your dreams will come true. So keep on keep on working hard. You can do it. <laughs> oh, kung merong mga nakikinig na mga kabataan ngayon na yan, yan ang advice sa inyo ni Marian. Lako, oh, wag kayong mag-give up. Meron ang dami nating tanong, guys. Um galing naman dito kay Mr. Ed Usman of a SciTech and Digital News Online. Okay, okay. Para sa any of our awardees. Medyo mahirap ito pang Miss Universe, ha? Presently, the coronavirus cases among Filipinos continue to rise. Now, if you were given the powers to address the pandemic early on, say before March pa, nung hindi pa talagang full-blown yung, ano, yung COVID dito sa Pilipinas, what would you have done to avoid the massive number of confirmed cases in the country? And how would you factor in science in your solution? Oh, ang hirap! <laughs> Sinong gustong sumagot? Sinong gustong sumagot? Um, nako, Marvins? Nako, sorry Marvins, biglang nakita kita eh. Okay po. Um, so, okay po. I think the first thing that we should have right. done during the early, like prior, early times of the pandemic mm-hmm. is that number one, we should have established travel ban. Mm-hmm. Uh, we should have improve public utilities in terms of hygiene, uh, mm-hmm. created awareness program or awareness protocols as well mm-hmm. to uh, practice social distancing so we could have prevented a uh, higher toll or mm-hmm. higher uh, consequences for it. Um, but uh, in applying science for that, that uh, pan- the pandemic have showed us how relevant Sciences in terms of there are a lot of problems that we cannot just simply solve by by just not thinking about it. It requires science. It requires systematic process of understanding the problems and creating solutions to mm-hmm. do it. So that proves that in this time, science is really relevant and still remains to be relevant until this day. So, then and so. 
Nako, tatawagan ko na muna si ano, ano DOH Secretary Duque. <laughs> Sabihin ko kunin ka na dun sa kanilang team. <laughs> um, meron pa bang ibang gustong sumagot? Kani ano, Analisa. <laughs> Um, si, sino bang gusto pang sumagot dyan? Siguro si ano, si Giselle? Hello po. Um, yes, my answer would be the same as Kuya Marvin. Mm-mm. But I um, I think the um, what the science can contribute in this in this pandemic is really um, huge because um, the solution um, is dependent on what science can do Mm-mm. it is it is the most important um most important thing Mm-mm. to be focused on in the midst of pandemic so yes thank you thank you Giselle oh ito akala nyo Dr. Reina nakalusot na kayo ha meron pong ano <laughs> tanong galing sa Facebook <laughs> kailangan galingan nyo nakaka-pressure itong mga batang to eh Dr. Reina what is the most difficult situation that you have encountered while doing your research daw oh, wow um, actually when I uh, when I um, answer this question I Mm-mm. I don't point to one single event or challenge Mm-mm. but I point to the to the yung mga sinabi din na, na na validate ng mga awardees natin today that it's a uh, it's a long haul it's a marathon yeah. Yeah. not a sprint so the challenge is really the persistence and keeping uh, keeping uh, focus and working on that problem right, uh, sometimes right, it's just, right. just one problem but Actually, there's so many problems that you have to solve along the way. And it Mm-mm. takes, di ba, uh, hindi siya, it doesn't happen overnight. Correct. And so that's, yeah. I think, the real challenge of, um, of, of science and doing research and anything that's worth doing, no? Anything that's worth doing, even in any field, no? Oh, it's oh. really um, just um, uh, keeping at it uh, and, you know, nga, having the passion and the motivation yeah. because you yeah. know what you're doing it for. And I think that's what the awardees here have proved na, They, they were able to to do that and um, yeah. got through and they're still and it doesn't end here no uh, so yeah. so it doesn't end here we're celebrating today but the work continues I see that you have projects you have patents you have uh, other plans and dreams in life so um, keep on keeping on yes yes and related to that may tanong si Tristan Lay Kalayo para sa ating awardees yung mga hindi pa nakakasagot dumating ba sa point na nawalan ka na ng gana or pag-asa sa ginagawa mo exactly, exactly. sino pa ba yung hindi pa nakakasagot go, go 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 Chloe Chloe dumating ba sa point na nawalan ka na ng gana tapos parang ano ba tong ginagawa ko ganon kasi po sa amin um, at first hindi naman po namin na-realize or wala naman pong sumagi sa isip namin Mm-mm. na we'd win this far. Kahit division pa lang or sa school level pa lang. We, we got really discouraged kasi we're in a science high school. Hindi lang naman kami yung magaling. Our mm. our colleagues are are better. And it, as in, uh, it, it was a state of shock nung nakaabot kami up to this far. And yes, nawawalan kami ng, ng, ano, ng nagpag-asa. And then while, while we're doing it, kami na lang kami na lang na magkaka-group uh, we just bo- boost each other up na yeah. we've come this far mm-hmm. kailangan na lang natin ilaban ng ilaban and let's see kung hanggang saan tayo aabotin and by God's grace then na we've been we've won this far together with the with the people na that would continue to support us so yung yung community na naka nakapaligid sa atin yung nurturing environment natin yun yung very important when we when we do this also Correct. yung yung competency natin it would be it would get uh it would get hard pero once you believe in yourself it would go a long way in right life. right o at saka kapag nawawala na kayo ng pag-asa at gana ang iisipin niyo na lang bakit ko ba ito ginagawa para kanino okay. ba ito para sa community ito at nang at umaasa sila sa akin. So hindi ako pwedeng It's always mag-in. science for the people po. Yes, science for the people. We have a question from Mia Rodriguez of spot.ph for either Frank or Marian. Was working alone an advantage or a disadvantage for you? <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Tama, eh, si Marian, I'll answer eh, si Marian po. Eh, si Marian naman may katandem eh. Si Daddy. <laughs> I'll answer po. Sige po, Frank. Sige, Franklin. Um, in doing uh, doing research in uh, individually po, there are pros and cons to consider. Um, one of the consequences is that um, aside from having your research advisor, you will battle alone on sleepless nights, on doing research, on doing experiments, and in doing your manuscripts. And um, ang sa challenge in doing um, a research alone is that. In reality, you should you should shoulder all the expenses for your experiments and for your research alone from yeah. your pocket. Po. And I think yun po yung mga isa sa mga struggle or mga hindrances ng research um or ng research sa Pilipinas. Kasi um sa point sa pag nag-start po tayo ng mga researches natin, kinukuha po natin yung budget natin sa sarili nating bulsa. And hindi, as a student, wala pa naman po akong stable source of income, so I am depending on my parents. So, <laughs> gladly po, supportive naman po yung mga parents ko po. And also, yung school ko po, um, very supportive din naman po sila, and they, and they lend support on me all throughout po. And um, ang biggest um, pros naman po is that kapag nag-succeed po kayo, kapag nakikita nyo na po na um, you get positive results, um, the the feeling is very um, unexplainable po. Yes. Like, you were on a cloud nine po. Kasi, <laughs> despite, the cha- despite the challenges, you get through all of it and you succeed po. Alright, right, right. Okay, um, Meron pa tayong tanong dito, pero short, short, short lang sana yung mga answers. Ay, gusto ko lang marinig yung iba pa nating awardees na hindi pa nakakapagsalita. Ito ay tanong from Rovel Salcedo. Sabi, if you could describe your research journey in one word, what would it be? O, unahin ko oh, si Gerardo. Gerardo. Hello. Um, hmm. One word. I guess in my case, if I could describe our... <laughs> our research journey together with my best friend, Ray, in this one word. Hmm. I guess there's a lot of words that is kind of like... A <laughs> isa lang! Word, right? Isa but, lang! Hmm. Okay, isa lang, isa lang. Hmm. I think for me, it's enticing. Kasi, enticing? Um, yes. Okay, um, at first, kasi I, I was not into research at first, but um, uh, it was all because of Ray na na-invite niya po mm-hmm. ako nga in doing this uh, research and then here we are right now. And then okay. all throughout the journey, the experiences that we had, all the difficulties, all the struggles that we had, the overtimes in the lab that we get to go home around 10 p.m. Um, from the laboratory that we work. Uh-uh. Um, it's a very thrilling and enticing experience that I get to do it with the person yeah. I care about, which is Ray. And of course, Aww. I had um, I had my family supporting me. I had... Uh, um, race fa- uh, I had race families also supporting us. Um, uh, we had the school and especially um our best okay. friends, uh, one of our friends that we care about, and especially Sir Aponte. Okay, and okay. The people who've been helping us throughout the way. Um, and then yeah. here we are right now. So, right. Oh, sige, pakinggan naman natin yung best friend mo, Ray. Enticing daw, ikaw. Hello po. No. <laughs> Baka sakit um, ng ulo yung sayo, joke. <laughs> that wasn't the case po. Pero, in my opinion, I think the word that I would use to describe my our research journey would be inspiring. Inspiring, okay. Inspiring in a sense that um, I had so many people back me up, me and uh, along with my best friend Rafi, to keep on going despite the entire lengthy and arduous process of correcting, optimizing, and looking for other possible solutions. Okay. At the same time, it was inspiring as a scientist because, mm-hmm. well, it's inevitable that we get to have some fair bit of criticism, some fair bits where um, some people don't agree. And it's inspiring to know that there are still a lot of things that we don't know. So there's still a lot more, uh, a lot more things that we could venture further mm-hmm. to learn. And mm-hmm. that for me is... Um, very fulfilling and inspiring as a scientist. Nice, nice. Oh, Amen. short, ganun din. Tatanungin ko naman si Marvin. Ay, si Marvin. Si Adoniram, sorry. Adoniram. Short lang. One word. Siguro for me po, uh, the word is wandering. Parang kasing word, when we're doing research, parang uh, we're not looking at the end, but it's the journey. 
kasi yung solution natin hindi naman natin makikita sa end eh. The solution ano uh, makukuha natin is in the journey. Totoo. So sa amin po we we don't know wh- when we will it will it end. Kailan matatapos yung project namin? But mm-hmm. as long as we are moving the journey katulad rin po ng sinabi ni Dr. Reyna, it's the marathon. It's like a marathon. Yes. Para yes. hindi it's keeping yourself motivated along the way. And True. sabi ko, yun nga po, katulad ko po ng group po ko si Heather kanina, nawawala na po kami ng gana, but uh, it's very uh, <laughs> wonderful. Yung, and yung, yung, yung uh, pag-looking back dun sa nangyari da, uh, last year, sobrang grabe yung journey namin and hindi mm-hmm. namin i-expect na ganito yung end. And uh, should I say, not the end, but just the beginning of everything for us. So yun And now we'd like to hear from Chloe, Chloe, and then Lorraine. If I uh, if I had one word to to explain our research journey, siguro po, it's a bit of a surprise. Kasi, surprise. Po, kasi like a gift. Hindi naman. Uh, it it's wrapped. Uh, we'll we'll just wonder or we'll get curious on what's inside of it. But we never really know what's what's really inside. So we just mm-hmm. see a facade of gift wrapper. If I may share po, there was this one time in nung NSTF po namin. We were in the verge of breaking down. And then we just had to talk to ourselves. Like kami pong tatlo ni Thea, ni Ado. And, we, and then on the call is our, 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 our uh, other group mates. So we were asking them, na, how did we get here? Because we weren't that, uh, we weren't that amazing in this field. We were <laughs> brand new. We were the underdog. No one expected us from winning from the start, palang even ourselves. <laughs> so there were there were doubts. Pero up to now, it was it was an amazing surprise yes. that yes. we get to experience. Thank you, thank you, Chloe, and finally Lorraine. One word. Hi, po. So I think um, my word to describe uh, my entire research journey, it would be worthwhile. Worthwhile? Because, yeah. Because um, when we are doing this research, I think we all have the tendency to find more reasons to give up than the reasons mm-hmm. to keep going. But I think we need to remember our whys, our reasons as to why we are doing this research, yes. to, uh, to whom we are doing this for, and why, are we, uh, why do we keep on pursuing this research? And then when we realize that it's for the people, it's for the sake of um, helping the humanity and for providing solutions to existing problems, I think that's when we realize that uh, what we, all are, we are all doing is worth it because mm. um, our research should... Um, should inspire and motivate other people to provide solutions to existing True. problems as well for yeah. us to make this world a better place to live in. Nako, salamat. Thank you. Uh, ang dami pa nating pwedeng tanungin, pero we have to move on kasi ang daming ibang mga nagtatanong. Pero just to recap, ang sinabi nila, enticing, inspiring, wondering, surprising, and truly worthwhile. Dadagdagan ko, service. Kasi lahat ng ginawa ninyo, lahat ng inventions na ginawa ninyo, it's all about service. Yung alam nyo, ang mission ninyo ay makapag-serve sa inyong mga komunidad, sa, sa mga tao, sa lipunan. And that, for me, is truly, truly, truly amazing. Um, meron tayong mga katanungan dito para naman sa DepEd. Ma'am, nandyan pa ba si ASEC o kaya si Director Andaya? Um, how important daw is, you, is doing research? Nandiyan pa ba si... Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am I'm Joyce. Here. Okay, ma'am Joyce. Uh, uh, Bakit daw importante ang pagre-research? Oo. Oh. Uh, napaka ng research sapagkat doon natin napapatunayan kung ang isang bagay ay nag-work o hindi. Mm-hmm. Kung ang isang bagay. Halimbawa, in this age of uh, social media, oh, oh. Uh, kung ano-ano ang nakakalagay sa Facebook or, or in any other, Twitter or So, magre-research ka ngayon, hindi mo lang muna paniniwalaan kung mm-hmm. kalagay doon. Kailangan mm-hmm. mong mag-research para malaman mo kung ito o dyan Correct, correct. Diba? Diba? Oo, doon man tama lang sa ano na yun, sa... Uh, aspect na yan. Yeah. Yan. Uh, so, malawa, 
sa pamagitan ng research, doon natin na-discover yung mga bagay na pwedeng makatulong sa ating mm. uh, community. Mm-hmm. Community, kagaya ng mga mga uh, scientists yan yes, yes. so, pwedeng makatulong sa ekonomiya, sa ating mga kababayan. Yun. Yun. Unti lang yan, pero I think that, that captures or the importance Correct. of doing research. Correct. Maraming salamat po sa inyo, Director Joyce Andaya. Tama po kayo. Um, hindi lang po sa science, pero pati sa amin, sa trabaho namin sa media, research gives you credibility. Kasi para mas malaman mo at makuha mo yung katotohanan, you really need to do your research. At pangalawa, ang research ang magiging susi para mabigyan natin ng solusyon yung ating mga mga problema. And finally, we have one last question for the GBF. For the GBF, um, either si Miss Liza or si Miss Grace Colette can answer this. Um, how a Facebook user is asking, how can I give tangible support to teachers in Kasama who are teaching our future STEM movers and shakers. So, sorry, Clara, can you repeat the question? Ako parang pang Miss Universe, ano? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Miss Grace, mayroong nagtatanong, how can I give tangible support to teachers in Kasama? Those teachers who are, uh, this group who is, uh, who are teaching our future STEM movers and shakers. Paano daw sila makakasuporta dito sa mga teachers ng kasama? Mm-hmm. So siguro yung, uh, yung teachers ng kasama kasi, they're part of this community. that They're actually helping each other. Mm-hmm. So one way to actually help uh, our teachers in the kasama teacher community, right now actually it's teachers helping teachers. Eh. So Correct. what we're really encouraging is really the sharing of best mm-hmm. practices. No, I know even sharing takes time. So yung yung oras na malalaan nila para makapag-share sila ng kung ano yung gumagana sa kanila, kung ano yung best practices nila. Those mm-hmm. are really great help for the Kasama Teachers community. Yeah. And we are also, you know, talking to some private sectors who've also done really good materials that are now available. So if we can get, you know, um uh, approval to post that on the Kasama Teachers community, Kasi marami naman ng materials dyan na magaganda. No? So, we need more approvals to actually get them on the site. So, really yeah. just ano, um, really just the encouragement for our teachers, spreading the word that there is this platform, there is this teacher's community, and prayers. Yun, yun ang tingin ko makakatulong talaga sa ating mga guro na sobrang hirap din ang pinagdadaanan ngayon. Kaya bilib na bilib na talaga ako more sa ating mga teachers more than ever before. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Grace Colette. At thank you very much sa Gokong Way Brothers Foundation sa GBF for for really sharing your your resources, sharing your knowledge para lalo pang ma-develop natin yung, yung talent ng ating mga kabataan at ng mga teachers natin pagdating sa, sa science. Alam ko ngayong may pandemya lahat po tayo sinasabi social distancing, physical distancing, pero with technology na pag kakabit-kabit natin yung isa't isa, mas madali tayong makapag-communicate. So tama yung sinabi ni ni Miss Grace, share your knowledge. Ito yung time na hindi tayo dapat maging madamot sa ating kaalaman. So kung meron po kayong enough resources, meron po kayong kaalaman, share it in the kasama page kasi maraming mga teachers ang nakasubscribe doon at pwedeng mag ano you know best practices modules etc para magtulungan tayong lahat alam ko po maraming mga tanong pa po uh, mula sa ating mga manonood pero we're actually over time already again maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga nanonood at sa lahat po ng ating mga participants right now indeed science technology engineering mathematics these are specialized fields where few are chosen and those that are drawn to it see the world just a little bit different those that are dedicated to it see there is much more in the world to improve and like the Gokong Way Brothers Foundation GBF those that champion it understand that the future of the world of humanity stems from today. Marami pong salamat sa ating mga uh, sa ating mga participants ngayon, Miss Liza Gokong Wei Cheng, um, 
sa Department of Education, Ms. Grace Colet, marami pong salamat sa inyo. GBF Board of Trustees, Executive Officers of the Gokong Way Group, K-12 students and teachers, other GBF partners, NSTF mentors, and of course, our parents, coaches, and awardees. Maraming salamat. Thank you po, Dr. Reyna, sa ating speaker. And congratulations once more to the Gokong Way Brothers Foundation, 2020 Young Scientist Awardees, who are DepEd NSTF winners and ICEF delegates as well. At sa lahat po ng mga nakasama natin ngayon sa online ceremony na ito, maraming salamat po sa inyong panahon, sa inyong oras. Salamat sa, at sinamahan niyo po kami sa pagbibigay po guys sa ating mga batang scientists. Sana po nabigyan po namin kayo ng pag-asa at inspirasyon na posible po ang pagbabago kung tutulungan natin ang ating kabataan sa kanilang mga pangarap. Scientists are dreamers, they dream of the impossible, they dream of solutions, and they dream of a better world for humanity. And their purpose is to make those dreams come true. And for everyone at home or wherever you may be celebrating this milestone with our 12 YSA awardees, I leave you with the words of what a great man, GBF's founder, Mr. John Gokongwe himself, once said, and I paraphrase, may you have the boldness to dream. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Cara David. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong panunood dito sa ceremony na ito. Thank you. Have a great day.